we're talking about artwork, it's not just for kids, it's for adults too. And Emily's back from 4Cat Studio in Hintonburg. Uh, we're talking about this beautiful painting. It's Gustav, right? Inspired. Correct. Yes, inspired by Gustav Klimt, which is an adult class for beginning a three-week session where you can come and paint a beautiful garden, uh, Klimt-inspired painting I on a 30 it. by 30 inch canvas. Okay, and that's what we're going to try and attempt here today. So you kind of prep the canvas with a sparkle paint, you said? Correct, a thin layer of sparkle paint here. And then what we're going to do, if you want to grab a paintbrush, mm -hmm. We're going to add some paint. Okay. And so we're using acrylic paint here, mm -hmm. and we're going to take it um, straight onto the brush. But I will also mention if you'd like to experiment with mixing colors, yeah. you can simply move the color uh, in another place in the palette and mix okay. them together. So that's where having the, the accessories really helps in this term. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And so go ahead, dive in and choose whatever is inspiring color? you. Okay. On the Gustav Klimt inspired painting, this garden painting, mm -hmm. we're making very simple shapes. Okay. Flowers and grass. Flowers and grass. So I have so blue. Great. So flower. blue would likely be a flower color, in which case you can go ahead and just make a dot. A big dot like that? Perfect. I'll take some yellow here mm -hmm. and I'll move over the water if you would like to wash your brush. Okay. You can wash it and wipe it on the cloth and you can also take a new one. So if you do look at the large painting, you'll see many of the flowers are simple shapes like mm -hmm. circles. Okay, so you just add dab some circles on the paint on the canvas? Dots and dashes all over the canvas. Okay. And this is how you'll get this beautiful painting. Now, one thing I like a bit about this is a lot of times, if you're looking for artwork for your home, you can't quite find, you know, the colors or the painting that you're looking for. This enables you to create your own. Correct. So if I want to add some dashes, I just add little dashes? Yes. Okay. And we can also layer the paint. So you can go ahead and take a new color. For example, I'm taking white and just putting it in the middle of my yellow. Okay. And there's my flower. Once you fill the canvas full of dots and dashes, and lines for the grass, it will magically transform into a garden. How am I doing? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and this is an adult workshop, so for people who want information, uh, what do they need to know? It's very beginner friendly, so anyone can join our adult classes. Uh, we'll show you all the tips and techniques. Okay. And all you have to bring is a smile on your face. We provide all of the materials. I love the it. canvases, the paints, and the fun times. We also welcome corporate events. That's right, you're saying you do a team building exercises as well? Exactly, yes. And so it's a great way to break the ice with your work group and come in and do some right. brainstorming together. I love it. And now another thing you were saying um, is people like myself like doing our work at home but they don't have all the, you know, the resources or all the paint, they can come in and use your facility for a small cost. Correct, basically. yes, and we will provide you with the materials, the canvas, the paints, and a mounting service for one of your canvases. Perfect. What are these little markers? These are paint markers, paint which markers? is great for this project where we'll come through and do some outlining here around the oh, flowers yeah. and inside the grass. Ideally, once the paint is dry, but in this case, we'll just go ahead and draw right onto the canvas. So it looks like a marker, but it's actually paint? Correct. Wow, I've never seen these tools yeah. before. And so how long would it take to complete a project like this? This project on a 30 by 30 inch canvas will take three classes at one and a half hours each. So That's not bad at all. Yeah, exactly. Great. And, and then you have this beautiful artwork forever. I love it. And you can put it in your home. Who would not like that in their home? And of course, we had the kids ones, the Picasso-inspired ones that we did earlier. Just want to show my guitar off because I'm pretty proud of my guitar. I think <laughs> I did all right for a kid's course. What do you think, Emily? Very nice. <laughs> of course, more information can be found at their website, 4 slash Hintenberg. 